Either way, grand finals. I mean, Apex, yeah, for sure. Nikki. Um, going into this, I feel like Nikki's probably the favorite between these two. Um, that would if be I'm remembering right, Nikki well. has a good track record in this matchup. Nikki's also very good at playing this kind of calling your shots play style and not trying to take insane risks. And he's also not afraid to do meaty throw 18 times in a row. He's, he, he, he likes that option. You just go keep doing it. Yeah. Oh my god. That plasma will yep. right there keep him down for the instinct pop. Nice break on the heavy. Like I was saying, one of the few options that you can just react to. Nice resilience. God, Nikki's defense is kind of crazy right now. Yeah, he didn't get hit by anything. I just realized my mistake here. Yeah, the answer was a little bit off. Can be very tricky to answer a rash like that. Yup, overhead beats the crouch medium kick. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, pretty good position. Never mind. <laughs> yup, easy confirm. Nice bait, big punish. Probably should have used that for shadow counter instead of the uh, the boot. Probably, that, that yeah. Forward heavy punches. One of his uh, pretty easy to shadow counter things. You don't have to guess. You don't have to guess like one lasers or two lasers. Yeah, exactly. You just do it. And saving meter for shadow counter against Fulgore is actually a pretty solid option because he wants to do medium laser a lot in his offense, right? Oh yeah, that thing is ridiculous. It goes so far. Yeah, exactly. So having a shadow counter threat on top of that... Damn, just did meaty throw. Didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and the Shadow Blade Dash there seems like an insanely hard read, but it's actually pretty low risk. Apex didn't have bar to Shadow counter it. Would he have built the bar if he blocked it? I'm gonna say no, <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> that was pretty convincing, I think. Uh, Nikki, uh... Kind of good, I guess. You know. Yeah, you know. If you want to be nice, you can say he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might have heard this this little, little some, uh, player from uh, the U.S. You know, named Nikki. Uh, yeah. You know, it, it's not that big of a deal. Overrated, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like how commentary is just an excuse for me to just talk shit on people for no reason. You've been doing it a lot. No, you've not been doing it that much. People have been coming on your harshness on, uh, <laughs> on uh, critiquing people's <laughs> gameplay. I mean, sometimes people gotta hear it. I don't know. Yeah, like, honestly, it's one of the. I mean it all in good jest. I love Nikki, of course, right? Yeah, yeah. Who doesn't? If you hate Nikki, there's something wrong with you. For sure. You're just like a hater. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know, people, like, his his uh, his Xbox tag is people saying he got carried by Fulgore or whatever, but he's, like, the only person I know of that really plays Fulgore at this level. Yeah, right? It's like, well, Fulgore is carrying everybody. How come Night Slash isn't out here winning everything with Fulgore? I can talk shit on Night Slash because him <laughs> and I are good friends. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that one was a safe bet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Get in the juggle. Go get the corner reset for the, maybe not, just the lockdown, or the, uh, the launcher there, I don't It's, like, kind of fair, like, the corner positioning for Ash is very strong, so, just getting some knockdown in the corner is, like, it's not bad, really. You can threaten with, like, boot and heavy kick and tong very well. Ooh. God, Ash is, Ash's is... Ash is throw does so much damage. Yeah, it does. It always does somehow, like, more than I think it does. I'll get picked up by Rash, and I'm like, nah, I'm gonna be fine, and then I die from it. Yeah, a nice shadow on top of that. Get the trouble. damage. Back that was not on boots. reaction. I don't give a shit what anybody that tells That was definitely me. not on reaction. That must have been the most insane reaction I've ever seen. 
<laughs> LCD, you missed Orchid. Orchid was here earlier. Damn. Hey, 2 0 already. Apex, you gotta make an adjustment. Yeah, I have a little, a little thanking session here. You know what? One thing I, I think maybe Apex might wanna try is <laughs> being more ballsy. Right? Like, clearly you're trying to play this kind of spacing-oriented game against Nikki, and it's not working out for you. Okay? If you try the same game plan for the third game, you're gonna lose. But, Apex is pretty good at making these, like, scramble situations, so... I would like to see Apex try to induce the scramble war. If you get a corner positioning, just run at Nikki. Just run right in his face. Yeah. Right? Make him play the RPS. Do the... the, the do the scrimple... Bimblo, or whatever it's called. Huh? Do the scrimple. Scrimple. You know, <laughs> do with the scrimple. Make it work. Apex is definitely not out of this. No, he can. Apex can make it happen. We just saw him bring the reverse 3 0 back against Roman, right? Roman yeah, was and, up 2 0. And before the third game, like, Roman looked like he had it, like, clean. Like, oh, it, yeah. It looked like Apex is done. Roman was like, yeah, I was like, dude, this is the freest fucking thing ever. And then they, Apex brought it back. So he can do the same thing here. Nice block on the left to right mix. Hey, okay, being patient here. Just blocking though into getting hit. Not really yeah. extending your options. Inducing the scramble situation on defense is much harder than inducing it on offense, right? Oh, for sure. Once again, nice letting neutral jump. Letting that forward heavy rip. And maybe he yeah. doesn't think getting a combo is like worth it or something. Like if I, I think he he's just thinking about some other stuff every time Nikki does the forward heavy punch. Oh my god! A and jumping heavy two punch. Bars, there's really no reason not to shadow counter it. Oh yeah, he wanted to get the free chip, but uh, Forgor can get out of that. Yup, that one ain't work, Apex. Oop, that's the life bar. That was so fucking smart. He went for an <laughs> unbreakable route to kill, teleport in, build the bar back. Yup. That was optimal. There we go. Do a big combo, get that reactor going real slow. Oh yeah. He still got almost full meter though. <laughs> yeah, but at least if he spends it, he's not getting it back right away. Oh. No punish on the whiff throw. Wasn't really ready for it. Don't blame him, to be honest. Yeah. Nice. I just zoomed yeah. in there with that full reactor speed. Yeah, that dash buff is so good. And then if he gets a stray hit and a height beam, it could be game over. Let's go, Apex. Nice overhead. Yep. Extend the combo a little bit, but he got it. Yeah, it was all safe. It was oh yeah, for sure. So there's nothing he could have done. But that was definitely a one chance break. Still, still a bit scared. Yeah, right. Because he could drop it, right? Who my, knows? My heart. <laughs> yeah, right. Unbreakables are kind of exciting in a weird way. Like, counterbreakers are the obvious thing to get excited about. Everyone gets excited when they see a counterbreaker. Oh, the, the entire... Unbreakables? Yeah, the entire video and sound design is made to make you go, Oh my god! Whenever the counterbreaker goes off. <laughs> yeah, right? It's a very, like, focused moment of excitement. But, but the unbreakables... unbreakables are more subtle. The unbreakables, the unbreakables are for the Chad KI fan. Yeah. People have been playing for, like, five, seven years. They see a nice unbreakable just slipped in. They're like, Especially that one that that, that that Nikki did right there. He didn't just. It wasn't just unbreakable. He also built resource off of it. Yeah, that was pretty flipping optimal, man. I could not think of a more optimal decision to make than that. And that is what I like to see when I'm watching some Killer Instinct. You know. I do know. I the... wonder <laughs> if Nikki's gonna be able to slow down this newly found momentum from Apex. Oh, there's that uh, medium laser. And that teleport Again. is so messed up. He's still <laughs> invisible when you're getting hit. Oh my 
goodness. Nikki has really a changed in his down. game. Nice challenge. Yeah, he went for forward heavy punch there just in case Apex backdash. Yeah, and he couldn't have done anything about it, even a block. Yep. Nice break. I think his breakers have been on point today. Oh! Yeah, the please. offense after that scare. Oh! oh my god. Still not a bad a position. Frog. I like him trying to use the, the neutral jab there. Okay. Nice shadow boot. Yeah, good choice. Not trying to play the uh, scramble game at all. Just trying to get the, the little bit of that life left. Yeah, he did the shadow to try to call out, call out a backdash. It's plus on block anyway, and he can't shadow counter it, so... What the lowers. hell? Yeah. <laughs> what even hit him? Look at skipping that one. I saw like one frame of that move. <laughs> Bang, 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 bang. No hit confirmed? Nice block. Yeah, he just did it. <gasps> oh my god, the, <laughs> the heavy kick. What a whiff punish. Yeah, and he jumped back, meaning the answer game can be scary. Okay. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> If Nikki gets hit once, he's dead. Clutch breaker. Oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> nice whiplash. Hey, fix. Staying patient, staying clean. Not trying to overextend at all. Yeah. Very, very smart play from him, not overextending, like he said. He's just kind of like, he'll zip in and then try something, and if it fucks up, he's like, alright, I'll, I'll see you later, man. Hey, I'm gonna <laughs> go over here, and then I'll be back a little bit later to try again. You know, really dictating the pace of the approach. They're very, very strong options from Apex. Two to two. Two to two. You know? We're sitting on a reset point. Also a tournament point. Real question is, I wonder if Nikki's going to counterpick. Nikki does have his own sort of uh, stable of characters to pick from. Yeah, Nikki's got a lot of characters. And you know what? On bracket reset point, counterpicking here is not a bad idea at yeah. all. Even if you lose, you have a whole other set to play with, and it gives you some time to work with another tool, right? And especially if you're picking a character that plays like way differently from your, your first character, like that could possibly mess up their their decision making. Yep. And we're gonna see it, Hisako. Um Hisako's a pretty good choice here. She's got a parry that makes Rash think a lot about his offense, right? He can still do meaty tongue, but any follow-ups he does off of the tongue now can be parried. So, he's got to think a little bit more about that, and he's got to be a little bit more careful using those grounded buttons that he has against Asako, because she can contest them, right? Yeah. Definitely adding uh, multiple layers onto the uh, game that was already evolving, uh, folding out. Yeah. I think this is a very smart counter pick here. And also, if Apex keeps his tendency to want to keep blocking, like, that's not going to work against a man grab character. Yup. Their strike throw is ridiculous. It's super buff. Oh. I think he went for a cheeky option select, maybe, but... Run up throw, I like it. Yeah, just playing the RPS. Nikki really not trying to play the parry game right now. I mean, they do have a whole half a second to punish it. If you're with yeah, that thing. Yeah, it's in definitely their face. a risk. I wonder if he's thinking about uh, saving it to maybe try to close something out, or possibly. Yeah, nice command throw there makes sense. Oh yeah, I even think I think it's faster than the <laughs> most pre-jump frames. Oh, the boot beats it. Yeah. Pixel rash. Let's you, go. The startup on Shadow on Rio's on is actually quite significant. If she does it from like mid screen, then you can hit jab and it'll beat her. It's wild. Looking. What is RPS? Uh, short for like rock, paper, scissors. Introducing a fast option where your opponent has to pick from a wheel of defensive options at one particular moment, right? Yeah. Oh, it gets hit by the overhead. I don't like to see that at all. 
Oh my god, no breaks, no counter breaks? Nice hit confirm. Any time out. <laughs> I think he's afraid to break. Oh, I don't blame him. But now he's gonna get mixed. Oh my god! <gasps> oh, gets the shadow counter. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Nick, you gotta break. Oh my god, Apex yeah, resets. Oh my god. That, that was an incredible decision from Apex to start going for a juggle combo, make it way harder to break. Yeah, super smart. He's got bikes to back him up too, so normally your only way to recapture, right, is like the forward heavy punch or the light auto combo. Yeah. And so if you do that, it's like a very obvious break or counter break window. But if you've got the bikes to uh, back you up, then like you can just do whatever and then the bike will hit recapture. You know? The just, bracket reset. Just some ridiculous uh, play here. Yeah, that was super clean. I wonder if Nikki will stick to his socket. I mean, either I character really didn't go so poorly, but yeah, especially trying a, a different character, at least on your first game, too. Okay, full going, yeah. Okay. Going back to the, fine, like, the tried and true. Yeah, probably still more comfortable with Fulgore than Hisako. Um, I think I would have liked to see the Hisako maybe for one more game to try to incorporate some player adaptation along with your character switch, but picking Fulgore right out of the gate also really not that bad of an option. You're kind of resetting the player adaptation from Apex by doing that, right? Yeah. That was a ballsy uppercut. <laughs> Apex just going in. Oh, it gets the punish. Now, really, I've been hating seeing all these whiff DPs not get punished. <laughs> it can be tricky sometimes if you're scouting one particular option, you know, really hard, and then your opponent does a whiffed uppercut. You, oh, yeah. It's very easy to not be ready for that type of thing. God, that medium punch in the air is so good. Damn, both medies whip. He, he hit him with the medium eye laser, and that missed, and he just swung for the fences with the overhead, and that missed, dude. Oh, Shadow Battering of Bam beats it. Blah, blah, blah. Combo break. Oh, nice this... jump back punish. Yeah, the jump back was good. I'm gonna get mixed. Do it again. <laughs> My man. <laughs> My man. <laughs> I really, I really like, I really like uh, Nikki abusing these double hit uh, options whenever uh, Apex does not have Shadow Meter. That was really fucking clean from Nikki there, actually. Like yeah, the teleport, just... and then he knew that Apex could call the bike to cover the whip Shadow Boot, block that punish. That was smart. Overhead. No one piece, bro. Nice. Okay, gets that life. A lot of, lot of uh, climbing to do here, though. Gets the jab. Didn't believe. Oh my god, what a whiff punish. Yeah, he, that comeback was totally doable, though. It would have been a no, little bit tricky, sure. but you have a whole chunk of instinct on your back for that, right? You can make that one happen. And that's why he, like, closing out a pixel of health on their first health bar is like so important right because if that's still there then you're always hesitant to pop instinct because if you spend half of your instinct closing out that pixel and then the in between like ready fight you know that takes another two seconds off your instinct and then you're only left with a little bit and now you have to make a full health comeback with that you know it can be like very very tricky to manage that closing out that little bit of their first health bar is always so important when you have to make a big comeback I'm happen mixing myself up with these scores sorry i'm talking about <laughs> yeah i believe it's what one it's Nikki? yeah it's one oh nikki i'm one just zero? i don't for some reason i thought i misread or i guess i did misread it i just thought it said something else at first <laughs> i took uh i wide my chat to see what uh what, Alex put a fucking minion in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't read <laughs> what the fucking name said. <laughs> they both got UUs in the beginning of their names. It's confusing. Damn, what an uppercut. Good situational awareness for Nikki to be ready for that. 
Overhead reset, yup. Oh my god, again? do it again! again. <laughs> Dude, I love that counter breaker. It didn't work, but it, I would have definitely broke that. <laughs> I, that one hit me. He's not trying to break combos, he's trying to break his mind. Yeah. You hit him with the reversal counter breaker. Yeah, I don't like a instinct special. I don't like a fix going for these wrecking balls. If Nikki is beating it out every single time. Yeah. Really nice um, mind game that happened there. So Nikki had instinct on deck. Um, so Apex didn't want to shadow counter the shadow move. And so Nikki knew that he knew that. And it was like, well, I'm just not going to pop instinct then. And you're not going to shadow counter it. Yeah, it almost seems like Apex is like almost scared to apply offense on Nikki right now, right? Yeah, a little bit. Which is funny because he doesn't seem to be scared on defense. Or maybe he just feels more comfortable with his roulette wheel going on, you know? What? It, I mean, yep. it's just... It's, it's just not working out right yep. now. Oh my god. Teleport his face forward for heavy life. punch. Yup. <laughs> That's hard, man. You have to guess which side he's going to teleport on, and then after you guess that, you can maybe pick one of your defensive options, or you got to guess again. On overhead, low throw. If you back that, she just forward heavy punch, and you die. It's really hard. Yeah. Nikki looking uh looking good again. I guess maybe that yeah. Isaka reset was all he needed. Right? But he was in this situation before the reset, and Avex brought it all the way back. So yeah, was, who's to say he cannot do it again? I was about to say, we've been here before. We, we've been here a couple times today. <laughs> really, this doesn't... In a weird way, I feel like this doesn't mean anything yet, right? Yeah, not until we get into the meaning of this game. We can't really say it means anything. It's almost like Apex is like a machine downloading a program, and it just takes him two losses before the program is done downloading, and he's like, oh, good to go. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you know, the traditional thing is the one game download, the first game download. Apex yeah. takes two games. He, gets, he takes extra data collection. <laughs> yeah. He, he over collects just to make sure that his conclusions are accurate. He's got a solid state drive and an external going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What a count breaker. That's going to be a big cash out. Go get the lock, uh, the knockdown here. Damn, they're just fucking swinging at each other. Yup, same side below. I'm, I love Apex showing that he's not afraid to break still. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you can't show any fear, right? <gasps> he spaced? Dang! Just do it. No, nice yeah. shot right through the that. projectile. That's a pretty good option. So we can cancel into Blade Dash if he thinks you're going to shadow there. Um, but if you block the Blade Dash, this turns over. Whereas if you block um, the fireball, then he can cancel into some other stuff still, right? Yeah. I can't believe that throw if didn't, like, he didn't get punished or anything for it. Not saying he would have been able to, just... What throw the hell happened there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Rash, why are you like that? this? Oh, again. Oh. I, I, I'm fine with that. Yeah, you know? it's fine. Also, Nikki's going to be wasting part of his instinct for that. Now that his yeah. is an incredibly offensive... Uh, Instinct, but he does get free pips. No, yeah, that's it. I feel like, there honestly, with Fulgore, wasting your instinct is not really that big of a deal. Yeah, he doesn't... Yeah. His, his instinct is very... It's a very measured instinct. He does not get this crazy, like... His gameplay plan stays the same. He doesn't get any sort of crazy new game unlocked whenever he... Uh, Pretty much, yeah. Instinct. Like, some of his setups can change a little bit, and... His offense structure changes a little bit, but that's kind of it. Like, it, it's not like Orchid, where you really have to capitalize on your instincts and in calling these cats, right? Or Idol, where it's like, if you, if they lock out and you got instinct, you pop that shit because you're about to kill them, right? <laughs> yeah. With Fulgore, if you lose your instinct, you're like, eh. <laughs> At least I got a couple pips out of the deal. Yeah. You know, it's really not that big of a deal. 
I mean, maybe it would have been a bigger deal in an earlier season when it, like, maxed out his reactor speed whenever he turned it on. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Going back to Hisako. I feel... I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I feel like... I think it's before, a Before, I was like, yeah, super smart. But now, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like he wasn't really doing bad with Folor. Maybe he should have stuck with it. I feel that. I feel it's kind of a coin toss. Uh, yeah. If anything, I feel like it's better to do it now instead of on the last game if it does happen. That's true. I feel like you're you're totally right. If you are gonna, if you're on the fence about counter picking, do it now. And I'm really not mad at the decision either way. I mean, it, it definitely didn't go poorly last time. He lost, but it, pretty close still. Yeah, it was super close. Backdashing, that not believing in the punish. Pretty bad whiff punish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to see Mira at Grim. Oh, no whiff. Oh my god. A little bit of some sloppy offense from Nikki overhead. Okay. He's, he's yeah, sure. Sloppy offense, but also Apex has like... He's been letting so many things whiff and not punish them. Yeah, true. He's gonna that kill this toad. Hisako's instinct is so strong, man. She can just kind of swing with these buttons, and she gets counter hit frame data on all of them anyway. I, so I'm I'm so scared for uh, Apex throwing out those big buttons in the sky. All right, it can be so threatening, especially I, because he really has to close out this health bar before he pops instinct, which he'll be able to do now. I think they were playing the like the 4D chess, though. I think he was trying to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be pressing buttons on you, and trying to get him to parry, but Nikki wasn't falling for it. Yeah, probably. I mean, you don't even need to parry with the uh, Isako oh. here. Her, uh, her uh, anti airs are ridiculous, even anyways. They're they're all right, but they're definitely not good enough to beat Rash alone. Oh, this is so bad. Jungle she game. Can't parry the bike either. Might be able to get the so cash out. No, blowout. <gasps> this is it. Nikki could win right here. He just needs to get his resets to work. He didn't call a bike there. He had a little bit of a bike left. I'm pretty sure. Nice. I think this is a one chance breaking a death, man. <gasps> I think that's it. I think oh that's it. <laughs> God, Nikki. Damn. The mad lad does it again, right? This is his second win. Oh yeah, his second one. Two times in a row. Hey, with the Hisago too. Good shit to Apex too. He fucking held his own. To be honest, he did he did better than I was expecting him to. If I'm being a hondo. <laughs> I was not expecting him to bring out back that reverse 3-0 and the reset, right? I that yeah. came out of left field. And it happened and I was like, all right, maybe Apex has got something here today. And he almost maybe did he it again. Up. He almost did three yeah. reverse 3-0s. <laughs> Dude, that's got to be a record of something. <laughs> that was a uh... Really ridiculous set, though. Great yeah, way to close out the I, night. Oh, for sure. Nikki did a, a great job playing there. Um, I like. I think in hindsight, even if it didn't work out, the counter pick there made sense. Like you were saying, if if it didn't work out and he lost, if he could go back to full gore and at least do like a player reset type deal, you know. Mhm. Mm for sure. There. Made it happen with Zako. Good stuff to Nikki. Uh. Well, I guess that's that's it for tonight. I want to thank uh, Sam D so, so much for spending so much time here commentating, watching this hype KI. I'm me to do it again. Uh, I'm very open to people commentating. Uh, I uh, The only thing I will say is I can't pay you. I'm very poor. <laughs> if you want to hang out on a mic, though, I'm not going to stop you. Um, this is where I hit you with the, like, what, what you, I'm not getting paid for this? <laughs> Uh, mean? I mean, uh, uh, I gotta go stop stream. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, check out these fine uh, tournaments that are gonna be happening this week. Tomorrow there's a KI World Cup event. You gotta check it out. And yeah, I'll uh, probably s stop by and that to give a peek at who's playing. <laughs> and then uh, oh, Cat Daddy's gonna pay you. Is that what you said? <laughs> what? I don't want. Don't pay me. Keep your money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, also, just uh, I mean, if you got anything to say, you can say it. You want to get people to yeah, your stream? 
I mean, yeah, like, if you don't mind me plug, I never want to, like, plug my stream no, on go other ahead. people's stream. No, go ahead. Go do it. Do it. I don't care. Um, but yeah, like, you know, I try to stream fighting games pretty much every on day on the weekday um, at 10 p.m. So I in about 20 minutes from now on every Wednesday, I'm streaming an open KI lobby. If you want to just come out, hang out, shoot the shit, you know play what? some Killer Instinct, uh, you're always welcome there. I'm foolish. I forgot to change my thing where we showed up. I am sorry. I didn't have your uh, your shit out there. Well, nah, you weren't coming the whole time. Go, go follow him on Twitter and Twitch. Samuel <laughs> underscore D underscore FGC. I'm sorry. I had that all planned out too. I took so much time making that up. <laughs> Uh, that's all right. So I think it's your first time having like a guest commentator on, right? Uh, it's not the first time. It's uh, I've had uh, a ninja's done it a few times, Ninja Ostrich, and a blind stunt like once I feel like, and uh, oh word! I think Dolphin was in, on the inaugural one. But yeah, word. Yeah, I'm I'm not against having other commentators. Just uh, I feel I definitely feel awkward. I don't like asking people to do it just because I'm like, I can't. You're just gonna be sitting there. I mean, you might enjoy the time, but. Dude, like straight up, if someone asked me to commentate or to help with an event, I would never take offense to it. I might decline based on schedule, but like, yeah. ask some people. What are you doing? <laughs> just... No one's gonna be upset at you for asking them to do commentary. In fact, a lot of people would probably be flattered if you have a favorite commentator. Like if you really enjoyed working with like Sonic Dolphin or something, get up nah. Sonic Dolphin and be like, hey, do nah. you want to commentate I, next I, week? I don't know if there's any good KI commentators. Zero good ones? No, I'm playing. Um, I was like, dang, I got roast. No, I think you do great, actually. Well, thank you. You got definitely I got a lot. To, to at least make things a little entertaining. <laughs> definitely got, what the hell just happened? My Xbox just died? What happened? Gray square, bro. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that was a good time for that to happen. <laughs> yeah, it just, it's just shut off. I don't know what happened. Some dust hit the capacitive button, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Shorted the capacitor that turns it on. Yeah. Okay, well, I think we've rambled long enough. I'm, uh, this has been yeah, the probably. Ultra Fine Atomic Weekly, number 24. These happen every single Wednesday at 6 p.m. You want to be here. 6 p.m. is Eastern, by the way, every single Wednesday. Uh, it's just your weekly opportunity. Play some KI in a bracket. I've been Trash Baby. I was helped by Samuel D here. And uh, that's it. Was it was a pleasure. Bye-bye, I guess.